you speaking into this one? Can you guys hear me? All right. Hello. Um, so I think that uh, we should be able to make up some time because this is really just an announcement and sort of a, a, an attempt to engage you in something that is pretty exciting to us. I'm going to take just a second, though, um, to, to fill those of you who are not familiar in um, uh, about, oh, sorry, this is not me. I don't know what that is. Everybody keeps looking up, but I don't have any slides. <laughs> Um, I, I just wanted to say a few words about Museums in the Web's pub publishing program. Um, how many of you know MW's papers and read them and use them in your teaching? And, okay, so not, not a ton of you. Um, but Museums in the Web, as you probably know, is a conference that dates back to the year, let's see, 1998, 97. Um, and, and over the course of years, um, the, the conference has published um, hundreds of papers which form a really important archive of the history of technology in museums over the last 20 years. Um, you know, I know, I know that some of you are, you know, regular readers of, of, of our papers and, and, and that content and teach with, with, with those documents and whatnot. Um, <clears throat> we have been giving some thought to the fact, though, that in many cases, certain technologies in museums are developing quickly enough that the papers themselves don't keep up with the, the landscape of, of, of digital. And um, mobile, is, mobile is one of those topics. When we look back at what we've published on mobile in the, in the archive of museums and the web, we realize that in some ways it is, it is lagging behind what's actually going on in the field and the practices and, um, and use cases that are most interesting to our colleagues, our communities, our directors, um, and, the, and, and the sort of you know, larger community of vendors and, and practitioners. So we have been thinking a little about the idea of publishing a book and doing it very, very quickly, doing it now. Um, so we are looking at a model of the book sprint. Um, does everybody know what a book sprint is? Hands up. Um, all right, so that's very good for the front row. Um, okay, so uh, the book sprint model is something that developed in the open source software community, um, open source projects, um, some of them very, very big and very sprawling in developing software that all of us use today, um, sort of woke up one day and realized that they weren't producing documentation that kept up with the actual software that they were, that they were putting out there. And so, um, so a young man named Adam Hyde um, had an idea that if he just locked his friends up in a room together, um, for you know somewhere between three and five days, they would be able to produce professional documentation for major open source projects. And so this was the beginning of the Floss Manuals um, um, project, which um, has produced some very very important documentation for software, um, and has sort of since evolved into a kind of way of making books about a lot of topics. Um, the development of fonts, um, art theory, um, a, a, you know, mainly mainly kinds of ideas that cluster around technology, um, and we thought that it was a model that would work really really well for the museum technology community. So, um, this is our official announcement that next year, that is to say, this year, <laughs> somewhere sometime in 2014, um, we are going to do a book sprint. Um, focusing on mobile and museums. Um, we probably will gather uh, somewhere around a dozen practitioners somewhere in the United States um, to write the book on mobile. And we are looking for people who are interested in being a part of that, that, that project. Um, there are lots of different roles for folks. So we're looking for authors, people who are, who are expert and, and, and willing to spend three days writing, really just writing. Um, to be a part of the be a part of the team, but there are rules for lots of other people as well. So we're looking for folks who will serve as proofreaders, as fact checkers, um, as 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 folks doing formatting and editing. We're looking for translators. We're really hoping that there will be multiple language versions of the book that we publish, and an Italian version would be absolutely splendid. Um, we are. 
Um, we're going to break the model, the existing model of this, the book sprint, just a little bit. Um, and this is a little bit where you guys come in you know, for this week. Um, normally, a book sprint starts with a day of tossing around ideas about what themes and ideas want to be treated. Essentially, it's the building of an outline. Um, but we are hoping that this work will take place um, amongst members of this community and beyond over the course of the next couple of months. So we're hoping, for example, that we can brainstorm a little in this room about what a book on mobile for museums might look like. So, you know, shout it out if you have ideas about what kinds of things should be covered, um, or talk to me or Nancy or Rob or Titus, is not even in the room, <laughs> or Ilaria. We'll, we'd love to hear from you about what kinds of things you think should be treated, and we'll build a little, a little place on the Museums and the Web website where you can contribute ideas about what um, you would like to see, what, what you'd like to see in a, in a book. We will also um, be looking for use cases case studies, best practices, who's doing the best work in mobile and museums, what are your favorite projects, um, what are your least favorite projects. We probably will want to cover those less, but there may be some cautionary tales that we would like to share. And we'll also be building a bibliography, and these are all things that sometimes are done within the context of a five-day book sprint, but that we would hope to do in advance, and in fact really kick off that discussion here at the conference. Um, because it's, it's really nice to hear from folks, you know, it, going into this sort of an event. And it'll help us to source authors who will, who will talk about the most interesting um, subjects. So, um, yes, okay. So, um, so, so of the book sprints that we know about now, um, many, many, many of them have been uh, produced using a software that was developed specifically for this kind of collaborative writing um, you know, in a short period. So the idea was really to get rid of um, you know, the hundreds of copies of you know, marked up Word documents that sometimes you know, are, are the basis of collaborative writing and to, to, to develop a software that could be used by um, by many people at once. So um, the, the originators of the book sprint developed a software that used to be called Bookie, B-O-O-K-I. Has anybody heard of it? Um, and I believe it's now called BookType. We'll probably work with the BookType software because it's really quite effective. Um, and it will produce web pages that will be um, free and open to everybody. Um, the idea really is to produce a, you know, a a text that can be edited over time, that is available to everybody, um, that can be easily produced as a print book should anybody choose to print one. A few of the book sprints that you know, we've looked at um, have produced bound books using a sort of print-on-demand model. Um, and you know, there's sometimes a value to having something that you can put in front of your boss. Um, so we would look to do something like that, although you know, of course the value of a book like this is that it can be, it can be updated you know, um, you know, going forward. Um, so what other questions can I answer? We're super psyched about this. We really, really hope that all of you will participate in some way or another. Um, not everybody likes to write. This is one of the reasons that we want to do this. We like to sort of uncover the, the talent in the community. Um, you know, folks who are, who are reluctant to write a paper, turn in a paper, but who might be, who might be compelled by the idea of working together as a group. Um, we are but we're, we're just as excited to have colleagues you know, at the table who will help us with sourcing, sourcing ideas or examples or um, you know, helping to create the bibliography. Um, anybody have any ideas about what they'd like to see in, in, in a book like this? Oh, come on. What's that? Positioning. Uh, positioning, yeah, that's one of, that's one of Nancy's favorites. <laughs> Yeah, um, I think that, that it's really important to sort of note that you know this will the book will be most useful if it treats if it if it treats not just sort of existing best practices but you know you know helps us to see where we're going um, in a really concrete sort of very specific way. Uh, yep. Yeah. Anybody else? I think the earlier comment on user context. 
user context, yeah, you know, that stuff was really exciting. And I do think that, you know, I, I also think that the sort of role of the kind of content that we're creating for mobile in aggregations and the ways in which it might be used across institutions, you know, yes, yeah. Content yeah. It's really interesting one that's come up in the discussion today. Yeah, I hadn't really given that much thought, but I really am excited by those ideas, yeah. I mean, the other one that I'm always uh, raving about is marketing. You know, we build, we build <laughs> products and then we don't tell anybody that they exist. Yeah. So surprise, surprise, they don't get used. Yeah. Accessibility. <laughs> <laughs> um, So, so um, we will, we will, as I say, you know, look to break the mold a little bit for for the for the sprint. That is to say, you know, we expect that that a certain number of people will will gather in Santa Fe or somewhere um, in the United States to actually write this book. Um, we will, you know, be really interested in seeing contributions that that you might you might share, you know, in advance or, you know, during the sprint from afar. The, it, is a, it, it, is a ver it is a distributed model. So most sprints actually have a team of folks who are working off-site um, during the course of the, the three to five days um, to, do, to do additional work. And it's, it's, it's kind of an exciting and vibrant community that gets, community, that gets, uh, that gets created over the course of, of you know, of the, of the sprint. So, um, you know, please, please, if you're interested at all, let us know. Um, and we'll, you know, we will stay in touch. We will develop some resources online. But really, no, that's all right. That's really all I have. It's just an announcement. Let's just see if there are any kind of questions or comments that have come to mind, either for Susan or for Rob, or indeed for anybody else who's spoken today, just before we, we break for coffee. Not, I really hope everybody gets a chance to meet each other during the coffee break. We were too large a group to kind of have a round rock and everyone introducing themselves formally uh, at the microphone. But I mean, above all, this is the session. The session session is quite long. So I understand that there's a session. The idea of the session is that we can introduce ourselves to the next. I think we can introduce ourselves to the next. Okay. <laughs> Fantastic. Okay, so that's the plan. Yes. And another issue. We send you afterwards in the afternoon. We can have a walk together in Florence with an app. We send to all of you the link to have this app uh, for free. Did everybody get it? Yes. Because otherwise, we will, uh, I will ask my company to send me other codes and you can download it now. So we have both iOS and uh, it is a marketing problem and it is not available outside of Italy.